got a got an intense practice in today. Uh, I think the boys are ready to put the pads on. Uh, they said they will see each other after spring break, uh, so they're going to take a week away here. Uh, at spring break, but it was a great practice today. Intense. Um, you know, too many guys on the ground in, in, in shorts here, just trying to teach them how to play fast. And I think you know, we count them during practice. We had 19 guys on the ground today. We had seven last Wednesday, so you know they're starting to compete. They're watching the tape, saying, "I would have made that play." Then they come out and try to make the play. And, and go too hard, but uh, but you love the intensity, the energy, and the effort they're giving you. Um, but uh, you know, happy, happy with number two, and you know, we'll give them a little, a little freshness here, and then we'll come back and knock out the next 13. Questions? Your expectation is pretty high for Dane and Jason, what those guys should do this season. And Damari Mathis, no question about it. They've been out there for a few years, and obviously Dane is the, 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 uh, the older of uh, all of them. Watch it, you know, watch the tape. Um, but uh, you know, when you look at it, I mean, Chase Pine, I thought had a great day today. Um, you know, the Mike, I think Elias is playing strong. I, I really like what I see out of him. You know, at least day one, watching the video. Um, but I don't think he's you know, tailed off any today. At the star position, Camp Wright is is battling with uh, Phil Campbell. And I like I like the I like the talent. Now they got to know what to do, and that's what we're out here in the next fifteen or next thirteen to go. You have Chase back inside in the middle? Or we have Chase doing both. We're trying to find our best you know, three linebackers, and he knows that. So he's playing a little bit of Mike. You know, Wendell Davis really is backing up Elias in the first two days. Um, and we've got Salim and, and Chase working at that money spot just to see who that guy's going to be. And what about a running back? How do you feel about that? There? You know, obviously, you know, Quadri Olsen's out here today. So you guys might want to interview him today. He's probably more exciting than me. Uh, but, uh, you know, with the losses of Olsen and Hall, um, you know, A.J. Davis and Sibley are doing well. I mean, we saw some great things out of Sibley last year. Obviously, A.J. played the whole game. Um, and, uh, you know, we're, we're excited to see what those guys got. Um, you know, we have Lee Carter playing a little bit of running back. Um, so, uh, he's got a little bit different gear. It's a, it's a totally different gear than some of the bigger guys in there. Um, so, you know, I'm happy with where it is after day two. We'll continue to get better. You guys have as long as 31st. You guys have had a string of 1,000-yard rushers last year. You two of them. Do you feel like you have one on this team that you got? That you have somebody that you can count on to be? I do. Well, you know, we'll, we'll have one or two of them for sure. You know, we'll find out who they're going to be. I can't sit there and name them today. And then we got two young puppies coming in, so you know, we're, we're going to find someone to carry the ball. You know, we're going to rush. We're going to throw. We're going to do what it takes to win football. Offense, Pat. You know, we talked about that rushing game there. I mean, how much do you feel like that makes up this?
goes fast. When you blink and it's gone, and, and it's hard to believe that uh, those guys have been gone after a year. We, we talked to you on Wednesday about um, Phil and Rashad Wheeler switching positions, yeah. but we forgot to ask you, um, did those guys come to you with that, or did you go with them? I think Phil came to me. You know, Phil wants to play a little tailback, too. Uh, Phil came to me, and we went to Rashad just to see what we could do uh, to uh, you know, make it a little bit better at that position. And, uh, you know, again, just having an older guy. We can go out and get a grad transfer. You can go get a JC guy. We can pull a great quality character guy from a position. So uh, I didn't tell him, hey, you're moving. I never, I never tell a guy, hey, you're moving over here. I told him to think about it. Uh, we actually talked about it in bowl practice, and I let him have time just to think about what's best for him and where he's going to help impact the football team.